Okay, in this video we tell about what I'm going to do when a child comes for growth evaluation. So typically you or your healthcare provider, if you're worried about growth, you ask the child to be referred over to a pediatric endocrinologist like us. And when, we come, when they come to see us, we request that they bring the growth chart from the primary care physician's office because it will help us understand how the child was growing over a period of time. We also will take a complete history on how the child was born, what was the size of the baby when the child was born, what are the medication the child is on, what is the family history of growth pattern, whether there were any late bloomers in the family, what is the height of the parents and so on and so forth. After getting a history and physical examination, we order a bunch of blood tests. It's usually it will be one single draw of blood where we look at several different factors. The different factors we look at will be uh, a chemistry panel which will be looking at how the child's liver and kidney are functioning, what the calcium level, what the glucose level in the body. We do a thyroid functions. Sometimes we do a uh, workup for celiac disease which is sensitivity to gluten. In female children many times we look at chromosomes because we want to see whether the chromosomes, the X and the X are in the right place. Sometimes we order that in males, uh, males as well. Uh, in older children, we'll be doing a little bit more blood test. So whenever endocrinologists order a blood test, it'll be, even though it'll be a single draw most of the time, there will be many tubes of blood. And these are specialized tests. So typically takes a while before we could get the results so that we can discuss that in person. That is the reason in our practice, we don't discuss results on the phone. We typically make the family come back to us either in few weeks or few months time when we analyze all the results along with the parents and then decide whether we move on to the next phase of investigation. Remember, in one of the previous videos, I told you we do not do the actual growth hormone level during this blood test because growth hormone secretes in pulses. It is not useful to do a single blood draw which talks about growth hormone levels. So we do a test called as IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, which, use, which is used to serve as a guideline for us to decide whether we are going to do the growth hormone stimulation test. The next video, I'll be talking about the growth hormone stimulation test. Thank you very much.